rewriting expressions using double angle identities. So let's do some practicing. We want to rewrite each of these expressions that we're given by using one of our new identities. Sine of 10x. Is there a way to think of that 10x, that angle in there, as the double of some angle? Well, of course, because I can think of 10x as twice as much as 5x. Notice that now I have sine of two times an angle. Well, let's jot down our double angle identity for sine. It was sine 2 theta equals 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. In other words, if you want to say something about the sine of the double of an angle, you take the number 2, you multiply it by the sine of the original theta, and then times the cosine of the original theta. Well, in our problem here, the theta is the 5x, sine of 2 theta. To rewrite this then, I just need to carefully follow the right side of that identity. It says 2 times sine theta, again our theta is 5x, times cosine theta, again our theta is 5x. And we're done. We've rewritten the original expression using the double angle identity. Let's take a look at letter B. 7 sine 4 alpha cosine 4 alpha. And I'm just being asked, can I rewrite this using one of the double angle identities? When I look at this, what I'm supposed to notice is this looks an awful lot like the right side of the sine double angle identity. Now, it's not an exact copy, but it's pretty close. My 4 alpha is essentially functioning as my theta. The biggest problem, though, is that I have a 7 in the front of it uh, instead of a 2. Is there a way that I can rewrite this so that it's equivalent, but there's a 2 in front of that instead of a 7? And the answer is, yeah, I just need to break the 7 down into a little multiplication problem, something times 2. Well, it would just be half of 7, right? 7 halves or 3 and a half. If I was to multiply 7 halves by 2, well, that's just 7. The 2's would cancel. I haven't changed anything. I've simply rewritten this so that now it is an exact match of the right side of that double angle identity. 7 halves times 2 sine theta cosine theta. Well, that means I can rewrite this thing by switching to the left side of the double angle identity. I would have that 7 halves in the front. I don't have any way to get rid of that. And then the red box is going to get replaced with this. It's the sign. And then in here, 2 times as much as the theta. What was my theta? Oh yeah, my theta in this problem is 4 alpha. When I clean that up, I get 7 halves sine of 8 alpha. And we've done it. We've rewritten the original expression using the double angle identity. Thanks for watching.